Shanti, what helps you to get to the destination through the quantum leap? Yes. Quantum leap is imagining to the end product. Visualize where you want to go. Believe in it. Feel it. Smell it. Hear it. Saturate yourself with it and retain it. You don't think about all the means. We think about means. Like, oh, how could I be? Suppose you want to be financially successful. You try to visualize. But we are not used to visualizing because we have so many doubts. The challenge. You think about this would happen. You think about all the doubts that comes in the way. So for visualizing and believing it, one thing is let go of the logic, let go of the mind. Just live as if you are there. And that itself will manufacture all the situations to attain it. Okay. So gradual approach is going up the steps. This is direct approach. Using the science as a guideline, first thing they say, electrons makes quantum leap. Instead of going in this general same circuit, gains energy or loses energy and jumps the orbit, like bypasses all the means, we have the same potential. Other experiment was double slit experiment when they shot electrons through two slits and they expected the slits to let the electron go and register on the other side so they had two slits they expected two sets or two lines instead they found many many lines many many lines so they found out it is the wave like function and when they did the experiment again, when observed by someone, it acted like electron was electron, only two dots, like you were throwing tennis ball through them. And they found when no one is observing, electron acts as energy or waves. And somebody observes that they can freeze the waves into particles. That means, with any situation, we have multiple choices. Anything can happen and we make the choices. So that way, we have to make the choice. We have to be strong. So this is the practice, to be relaxed and to visualize. Third thing is, everyone and everything is connected. Any two particles or any two objects, if they are entangled once, they remain entangled forever. That means you separate them and put them galaxies apart. They communicate with each other at a faster speed than speed of light. What it shows that we are all connected from Big Bang on, everyone is connected. So we are all connected. So really everything is there. In the space, all we have to do is to tune in. What prevents us from tuning in is our own doubts, our own insecurity. So really, our mind can be our best friend and mind can be our worst enemy. Mind can focus and visualize and project. Reality is our friend. Scattered mind, doubting mind is our enemy. So we can tune in to Supreme Consciousness just by deep relaxation and tuning in. We can attract whatever we want. Just like radio waves are in the space all the time, email is in the space all the time, TV waves are in the space all the time, everything is still in the space. Only thing we have to tune in. That tuning in is meditation, visualization and believing. So letting go of all insecurity. Don't let 
don't entertain any negative thought because it becomes habit without our knowing it. We get into that. Like I would fail, then what would happen? I would fail again. Whenever that happens, stop immediately. Instead, start writing exactly opposite of it. So you write positive affirmation that counteracts those negative things and you reprogram the brain so that you stop that negative thinking process. So really, all we need to do is there are all kinds of possibilities. Let go of all the limitations. Because we are programmed. This is the way you need to do. Everyone does this way. Matter of fact, consciousness, if we tune in with consciousness, consciousness has no boundary. It doesn't have mind. It doesn't have logic. It has panoramic view that it sees everything. Past, future, everything. So when you are relaxed, mind is relaxed, so it goes into consciousness and consciousness is filled with all the information and guidance. And that is the intuition. And you act on it and you always succeed. So this is why we have to build intuition. And everything is relate, related to deep relaxation, concentration and meditation. So what helps is thinking process. If you are self-centered and think only of yourself, you are shrinking consciousness. When you do anything, like you want to be financially successful, but you think about, I want to be financially successful to be able to serve others. That means you are expanding your consciousness so you have greater chance of tuning in. But when you think selfishly, I will buy a boat and I will buy a pants and I will do this and that, you will shrink your consciousness. So we have to tune into Supreme Consciousness or God Consciousness that we can do by expanding our consciousness and tuning in. Any question?